Hi everyone, Love Coach Macy here for a special evening with my, one of my favorite people, hilarious, smart, adorable, <laughs> Mariah. And she was bold enough to um, step forward to do this live online dating profile makeover. And I've been thinking about this for a long time where I just wanted to be able to share with all of you um, using a real example so that you guys could get some tips from this. Because when people bring me online profiles, typically they're not as great as they can be. And um, I already saw Mariah's and actually Mariah's is, is pretty good. I mean, you're, you're starting from a really awesome place. Um, so I'm just letting people join, but while people are coming in, do you want to say hi and share a little bit about you? Sure. Hi everyone. Um, I'm Mariah and I'm actually a portrait photographer and it's been fun to see the dating from just not my perspective, but also client's perspective. And uh, I don't know, what, what do you want me to share about myself? Um, um, yeah, well, I want to share that too. Like Mariah, actually, she's here in Denver. She has an amazing space. So any of you, like when we get back to doing the sort of mingly things, um, <laughs> who want to do events or group things. Have a mixer. <laughs> she has an awesome, awesome, really the best ever space um, to do that. And she does amazing photographs, not only for people nice. who want to have headshots for their business or whatever, but for dating. So the cool part about tonight is you're going to get a little extra special angle on this because when we go and talk about um, angle, pun. pictures, <laughs> yeah, when we talk about pictures, you'll be able to give us some some tips. I mean on that too, which I think is really important. But what we're doing tonight is we're going to be talking a little bit about Mariah and her relationship goals. We'll, we'll talk about values and really why that's important to take some time to look at what that means for you. And also, um, we're going to go line by line practically through her about section in her profile, which is don't panic, don't panic. <laughs> she has a really great start. I mean, you, your personality really does shine through. I just want to be able to show actually a lot of the things that you're doing that are amazing and why that works. And um, I know you've, so you've been taking kind of a break from dating. I mean, full transparency, I'm not actually coaching you on love right now. So this isn't not like yet. something that we scheduled. <laughs> I mean, this isn't like you've, you know, we've been working together. So really we're today, we decided we would do this um, and we're here. So, um, so we will go through that um, and we'll talk about kind of little things that you could tweak and, and see where we might want to um, add more copy, you know, copy, it's a kind of technical term, I guess, but more <laughs> writing around different things that is that are you that I think um, we might want to bring forward more. And the cool part about this too is, you know, we'll be, your profile is in match.com, which is one of the sites I recommend the most. I mean, Larry and I met on match.com. So I guess that's, that's an obvious reason why I would recommend it. But, um, but the other reason is because I do think that, well, it's really popular. There's a lot of people on it. And the people in these communities, I would say in my communities, I think for, for you guys out there, it is a good one to consider um, for the reason that there's good volume and there's just a lot of space to actually write about yourself. And I feel like if you spend the time to really share consciously about yourself, um, there is a level of commitment there. So, you know, on other sites where you share a couple sentences or something, it's kind of uh, 
it's a fast path to get on the site, but um, you know, have you really done more of the work to consider what it is that would be good for you, not specifically you, Mariah, but like all of you out there. Um, so anyway, that was one of the reasons why I wanted someone who was on a match.com site. So, so people are cheering you on. They're like, yay, thanks for doing this for us. Oh my gosh, yay, Mariah, you're doing great. We're happy you're here. You're helping all of us. Okay, so everyone is so on your team. So, Thanks, um, everyone. Yay. So one of the things that I start out with with people is I really um, like to talk about values and what are our values. So um, when we're crafting an online profile, we want to consider the values that are how we live our life. And this is beyond the ones that we can kind of assume are critical for a healthy relationship. OK, so and so I want to say this because a lot of times people will say, well, you know, I want a loving relationship. I want someone trustworthy and I want someone, you know, who will respect me kind of thing. Well that should be a given at this state, you know? So we don't need to actually talk about those because um, we want to get to the things that, the kinds of values that actually influences how we make choices in our life and and how we, um, our, our lifestyle and the way, the things that actually, you know, really light us up. So, I'm just going to give an example for the community on how you get to those that I find really helpful. So one of the ways you think, okay, well, what the heck really are values? What are they for me? One of the ways you can do that is consider a time that you were so, you were feeling so alive and things were just flowing. Time didn't matter. Like it could be really any time, probably more helpful in your adult life and and notice what values were there like i think about um my senior art thesis in college we have dog snoring in the background my senior art thesis in college you know i was painting nonstop for you know six weeks and it was hardcore i was barely sleeping and it was just like ah i was so good i loved it i was in a like-minded community i was creative um and so it was just the most blissful time um so some of the values that i can take out of that are i do value creativity like that's really important to me and um so that's something i could put on my values list other things working at a yoga camp was really meaningful for me every summer and what i loved about that was that you know, I really like, I love being in service in that way when, you know, we're teaching and growing and there's personal development. So personal development's a value of mine. Um, you know, a conscious community is a value of mine. So those things kind of come out. Um, the other way you can do it, which I recommend doing the bo both ways, is looking at the other side where you're where you're thinking about times when things just were not working. You know, it sucked. You're miserable. Like you were just like something's got to change. And then notice what was missing. Notice what it was about that. You know, when I worked in a cubicle for forty hours a week, I I hate. I need windows. I need to be able to see outside. I it was too structured for me. I, there was nothing creative. So I can see that, you know, not having the autonomy, the creativity also, you know, was missing for me. So um, you start kind of, your values start coming out and then just noticing what do you spend a lot of time on? Like, you know, what do you spend your money on? Personal development, like traveling, not right now. But anyway, someday. So thinking about that. So everyone out there, if you're um, watching, start making a list of your values. 
And so I'm going to ask you, so what values are important to you? I, I've been madly typing as you're, as you're talking. Okay. Like, oh, that's a good one too. That's a good one too. These are mm -hmm. such good tips. Um, some of mine I got from also looking at, um, you know, if I'm at the end, thinking about the end of my life, what yeah. do I want to feel? Where do I want to be? Who do, who, what kind of person do I want to be around? Um, and definitely like a curious intellect. I value that yeah. pretty highly and that creativity. Yeah. Um, and, you know, my, just my, my work alone too is, um, you know, mindfulness practices and yeah. health and nutrition focused practices, somebody who's, you know, health focused and also spiritual. Um, yeah. Creativity is a really high one for me. Tacos, uh, creativity <laughs> in making tacos. Extra yeah. bonus. Um, <laughs> I, I think I told you earlier too, kombucha like, and puppies. <laughs> yeah, I know. I love the tacos, kombucha and puppies. Like that, yeah, sure. Kind of sums need it up. To have yeah. that yeah. phrase in there. I'm going to be looking for those three words in there. Okay. And, <laughs> yeah, so I like, I like the note. intellect. You know, you would, so therefore, it would be really fun for you to be with someone who could match your intellect and in, in how you, um, I'm guessing, you know, knowing your work um, for on in neuroscience and the stuff that you do for, for people in the mindfulness world, like that it includes the, you know, the spirituality, but the kind of the ever curious learner like yeah. the personal growth too is, is yeah like the personal good. growth and um so this is good i i put intellect creativity spirituality personal growth and i would say health right because you yeah. do value i mean you are very conscious about what you eat and making your food and right yeah, definitely. Well, I'm a master. I have a master's in nutrition therapy too. So oh, it kind of curses you for life once you go through that program. <laughs> yeah, I'm worse than that, and I can't eat it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Okay, I like this. So we're gonna we're gonna use these: the the intellect, creativity, spirituality, personal growth, and health. This is a perfect list to start with. And so and tacos, kombucha, and puppies. Yes, tacos, kombucha, puppies. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, so we have those. So now, you know, what, I mean, you already have a profile, we're going to go look at it. But what I would invite people to do next is to go to each of these values and actually write ways that you are living them, like really, you know, with the intellect, like, okay, what was the last class that you loved so much and why did you love it or you know what's um an amazing super uh fun conversation that you had with someone that piqued your curiosity i mean i'm just kind of rambling here but but this is the kind of thing it's almost like you end up interviewing yourself in a way to get to those it's like okay well what's sort of a bucket list like nerdy thing I would love to do, you know, like that kind of thing that you get you to some specific stories. Um, and that, you know, you're not going to be sharing all of these stories, but it, it becomes a brainstorming space where you actually have specific things. So um, tell me one class like or intellectual thing that's really is like stimulating you these days. Oh goodness. Um can I say this one? This one's fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the um well I took one this morning. There was a master class this morning I took that was on mindfulness and um it's a lot of what I teach in one of my other businesses too. So yeah. but it, it was so fun. It was so fun to hear this in a different, you know, uh change of uh viewpoint and perspective. Yeah, um, calming our nervous system down and really centering and being present like that was that I guess hit on my values, which is yeah, you know, that's such a great exercise. Um, okay. Yeah, I really love that. It kind of filled me up and gave me more ideas. It got my creativity going. Yeah, 
I love that. And I love everything you're saying there because you, one, here's another thing I didn't mention is like, first of all, when you start asking these questions, you start realizing if you're living your values, you're like this morning, I took this class that totally lit me up. It gave me more ideas. It was, you know, and you can, then you can start expanding. Like I never, you can share an idea. You can start writing about that idea. The idea that came through that it wouldn't have come through was blah, blah, blah. And, you know, you don't have to share all that now, but like you can kind of see how this begins to start like showing how you function. It's like how Mariah functions in the world. <laughs> how you do you. And that's really what's important because the person who um, is looking for you is praying right now for a woman who, you know, would have no problem signing up like last minute and taking a morning to do a mindfulness class like that. You know? I yeah, I love that. I love that question too of what have you done that's in line with those values and mm -hmm. using that not just as a, um, a stepping point for the profile, but also for um, something you said in there too, uh, like checking in with your, your sense of joy and what brings you fulfillment. It is so true, Mariah. This is one of the things that surprises me the most in a lot of ways, because a lot of people can say, okay, I value creativity, spirituality, <laughs> personal growth, and yet, you know, how long has it been since we've done some of those things? And when you have that awareness that, wow, I value creativity. I mean, you and I were talking about painting before this. I value making art. And I actually hadn't made any handmade like let's get paint all over my face stuff for quite a while and so it's like okay this gets to be part of the wake-up call because if you're saying you want someone who's creative and yet you're not actually living that then you're not really in alignment with like yourself so there becomes this kind of funky energy um with yourself you know and when you're not aligned then it's hard for the right people to align with you um the the most common place i see this is when people say i really want someone who has a great sense of humor and then they're like nah. <laughs> and, so, like okay well, start, start having fun and start having a sense of humor so start laughing you know what i mean so yeah, part of this does become a wake up call. Um, but it but it's really the this beginning. It's like, okay, when was the last time you did it? When what's the next time you're planning on doing whatever value this is? What is sort of a bucket list thing? Like if you're a traveler or adventure adventurer, oftentimes that's a place where you're like, Yes, I've always wanted to go to Thailand and cuddle with elephants, you know, like then share it because you never know, you know, when you're sharing these kinds of things, it's so specific that people who are reading your profile then have basically the hook. It's like, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that hook, that thing that makes that person go, yes, that's me. Yes, I know exactly the retreat place in Thailand that I would recommend you to go because I went there and now I'm so excited about this connection we have. I am going to write you like there's no doubt. Instead, when things are kind of blurry or general, like, oh, I like traveling and I really like healthy food, which basically says nothing. <laughs> then, um, so that true. doesn't give them the confidence to be like, oh, I can land here and I know if I write this person that I was right in doing it. You know what I mean? Even if you don't write them back, it's like, okay, I don't know what happened, but you know, I, I know I was connected, you know? So it's a really powerful thing. Um, so I just want to talk about the, the sort of like lack of, specificity that can happen that I see, like I just gave the example, oh, I, I like being healthy and traveling. So if you notice, like if you're saying I like being healthy or traveling, 
it doesn't actually conjure up a picture. So all of what we're getting at when we're asking ourselves questions about our values and really saying, okay, what was the last thing I did? And then specifically that, and, you know, you know, getting to those details is that, you know, when there's no picture, then there's no like emotional connection. There's no like excitement around that. And besides the fact that if you say you're healthy, I mean, Mariah healthy, nutritionist background healthy is a lot different than the person who, you know, is like, okay, well, I'm actually going to add lettuce to my double cheeseburger healthy. You know <laughs> what I mean? Yeah. Like, so there's quite a span of how that can be defined. Um, so, okay. I'm reading a, reading some of the comments. And somebody said, yes, but you might be aligned doing various things at various times. I don't totally get that question, but maybe you can put a little more around that so we understand that. Um, but anyway, okay, so we've gotten to the point where we're kind of interviewing ourselves about our values and we know your values. So I'm not gonna go through all of these and interview you specifically um, because that is something that I do with my private clients and we'll, we'll literally take an hour and a half at least to just sit down and do an interview. I type the whole thing up. I actually am the scribe. I put it together and then it's done. It's just done. And, you know, we use some other techniques, which we'll touch on when we review yours. But That's amazing. Um, tonight, you know, we get to kind of go a little quickly because this is more of a, I guess it's more of like an online dating audit, even though <laughs> that word is never that fun. Um, so, okay, are there any questions coming up for you at this point? No, I'm I'm ready to go. This is okay. fun. <laughs> cool, cool. So that's part of the process. That's what I would call the interview process. Um, and I'm going to add another chunk of the interview. Well, let's talk about that now. Sorry, because I think it's better when you <laughs> to see all of the things when we're on the other screen. But so the other part of the interview process I recommend people doing is, and you can write down this kind of sentence lead for this, but really consider, you know, once you start gathering these stories about how you live your values and your experiences with that and like, you know, how it shows up in your life, then you are in another place of awareness where you can now ask, okay, well, you're the kind of person. So you're, you're asking about your beloved. You can say, well, you are the kind of person who, and then you just start answering that a couple different ways. And I would recommend answering it um, in a way that does, does paint pictures. So if you've ever um, done an improv class, I know you have, um, when you're doing an improv class, one of the rules is to show, don't tell. If you stand on the stage and just say everything that's happening and you're not actually like living the experience of it, it's not as engaging. So same applies here. You want to show through those pictures, um, with your words and not just tell people. So you're the kind of guy who, and I think I know you are an animal lover. I'm an animal lover. Uh, this is an example I like using. You're the kind of guy who um, can't walk through a park without petting every dog. You know, you kind of get the gist of that kind of guy, right? Um, you're the kind of guy who um, would drive a motorcycle to a yoga class, you know, so you get the kind of like rough around the edges, but also spiritual, like, so you start bringing in all of this um, more specifically as it applies to you. And you can be pretty creative here. So, I mean, for your, for your own sense of clarity, I think that's a really fun exercise to do. And then for your profile, you know, in all of this, you're taking the best bits 
And then later you can have conversations and you don't have to include everything in right out the gate. Um, so, so that'll end up being part of it too. And the other thing that you can do or, you know, when you think about the relationship, so, so what we're talking about here with the, you're the kind of guy who is, we're painting the picture of the essence of that kind of person. Um, but we're also including him. So if your whole profile is just about you, then, and it doesn't actually include the sense of a person in your life or talk to him or her, then you it's, it's going to be felt. So, um, you know, once you get your notes down, you want to start getting in that frame of mind of this is about writing something to one person, like in a way it's writing to the kind of person that is my person. And when you're willing, when you get into that space, I encourage people to like start getting really giddy about it. When we're doing these interviews, when I'm interviewing my client, it gets pretty fun. Like we get, we get, we get really excited about it. Like it's pretty exciting to consider, oh yeah, it would be really fun to have that kind of person in my experience. So you, so when you're in the energy of including that person, when you're writing and when you're putting together your profile and, and anytime you're on an online dating site, then um that brings a different energy to it so if you're if you're writing the whole thing like oh nothing's gonna happen it never works blah 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 like there's there obviously that's gonna be um have a vibe to it um so i know i'm sharing a lot but that i feel like i really want people to hear everything possible so um so really consider how you're you know really sensing that person even before you're you're writing your profile and doing this work is going to be a huge part of this um okay so what else do i want to say about that? the other thing you can do is you can consider okay well what would a fun date be like and and paint a picture of a fun date if you do everything I'm telling you, your your profile is going to be like a couple chapters. So you don't need that much, but it, it's not going to hurt you to do these exercises. Um, so awesome. Yay. Okay. Let's dive into looking at your profile. And then this will give us a chance to um, give people real life examples. Hopefully I'll be able to see it on the screen. Okay. Oh, there we go. All right. So how do I do this? Hold on. I'm going to be jumping back and forth a little bit, I think, because I think I have to um, do that. The bing, the bang. Okay. So this is awesome. All right, everyone. Now we're getting into actual, like, let's look at what's here and really celebrate it. Okay. First of all, how beautiful is your picture? Um, I love your picture, of course, because you're a photographer and you know what good pictures are. Anyway, love your picture. So we can say that right out the gate. Um, I am going to read it from the other side. Okay. So if you, if you need to stop me, just say something because I'm not looking at the zoom at the stream yard right now i'm looking at the profile so i can see it up close so okay your opening line is life for me feels succulent and magical and a little nerdy okay i love this sentence um because it it's not cliche it's using lovely words i love that you're um specifically talking to the intellect piece with the little nerdiness. I mean, this sentence feels really good. Is it actually a sentence that creates a visual in my mind? Not necessarily. 
but it's a nice opening sentence um, that shows your creativity and your smarts. So I like it. Um, next sentence. It feels amazing to wake up each day to new possibilities and fun and rituals of delicious tea, meditating and light yoga. Also, I love this sentence because one, let's look at your, let's look at your values. You've already touched on intellect. You've already touched on um, spirituality. And I would say like the meditating and light yoga can also cross into personal growth and, and health. So in the first two sentences, you've actually touched on almost all your values, just sharing this. I would say, um, you know, this is, I, honestly, I wish I had more feedback to give you here. <laughs> um, I mean, because the, the delicious tea, like, you know, okay, if I'm going to, I'm just going to have to be like picky. And this doesn't mean it has to change. I'm just saying like, okay, so delicious tea. This is a place where you could, um, for example, you could put like, okay, my favorite blend is or something like that in okay. a parentheses or something um, where, you know, if you're like a chamomile mint combo and this guy's like, oh my God, I grow my own mint just because I have to have fresh mint tea. And then he's going to lose his mind, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, I love that. Um, so let's keep going. Um, oh, I love to occasionally smoosh paint around, see knit things. Oh my God. And pretend to cook well, funny, um, board games, gallivanting around on trails and gatherings with friends. Also, all value aligned and with some fun visuals. The smoosh paint around, I really love. Um, knitting things, I really love. I mean, um, you could, I mean, if you wanted to expand this out, you could, you could maybe mention, like, what's the last, like, knitted gift you made or something? What's the last thing you did? Um you know, you could mention like what your preferred painting is, watercolor, oil, something like there could be more specifics like woven in here and there. Um, I see the board games and I think that that is an opportunity to even maybe change board games to actually a specific board game that you, you know, would never be able to <laughs> Pandemic? <laughs> it's oh. a boy game. <laughs> too soon. Too soon. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I mean, that's the kind of thing that um, you know, if yeah. you need to change that to an actual specific game, the the it gives someone a really clear hook there. Um, you know, once yeah. again. This is a really awesome example. I mean, I will say most people that I see aren't this good out the gate. So um, sci-fi is my comfort food. Okay. Hilarious. <laughs> um, I love this because this is showing your, your hilarious, smart humor, which I know you. So I know this about you. So I see your person already. I already know who your person is. He's going to be really smart, nerdy, healthy. Um, this kind of humor, like if I were a guy, I would totally write you. Um, <laughs> kind of thing oh, oh, gosh, um, it's just so cute. So, um, City life is marvelous, and so is getting out for some time on a trail among rocks and trees. So there, um, you know, if we were to, like, play with this in specifics, you know, you could maybe speak to your favorite area of Denver 
or you know mention a specific trail that's kind of a fun one for you because um or mention like the last one you were on like last time i went to blah bitty blah i saw a bald eagle or something like because um once again these are just this i'm giving examples of ways to get more specific um it feels so restorative i always love it when people can share something and share like why that works for them like you this is important because what this shows is that when you're on a trail you're not on necessarily i don't know maybe sometimes you are but you're not on there to train for a 100k marathon exactly. in hawaii or something like this is about like recharging you know yeah. so i'm already getting the sense that you know i'm glad you brought that up too because yeah. you know like going through and reading so many profiles it's all about you know like there's so many that are it's like you said, like there's that generic language and it doesn't give you much insight into why they're doing this. And especially here in Colorado, there's a lot of people that are like, I exercise 20 times a day. And like, I used to do that. I don't do that anymore. And I don't, you know, like I want to make sure that that's very, very clear. So that was my yeah. reason behind it. Find it too. I think this language. is a, an important conversation. I mean, I, I know that the audience that's watching is probably from all over, but everybody sort of has their probably thing in their community but for for those of us <laughs> who are like creative you know nerdy types like us living in Colorado can feel frustrating on that front because there are a lot of people who move here because they actually do want to climb mountains and they do want to train for the Olympics and and do all of these really hardcore extreme sports so the more you can be honest about this stuff the better because um, there's a lot of people who feel like they can't even admit that they aren't the 14 or climbers or the ski every weekenders. And when you can say this, this actually makes those people go, okay, all right, finally I can be, I don't have to be like super manly, you know. <laughs> Run triathlons every weekend. Man. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Okay, so I'm excited and energized by my passions. Um, okay, so this is one of those kind of phrases that I think that this yeah. sentence yeah. Is, is, well, it's, it's not bad, but it, it is one that because you already have a couple really awesome ones, that this one I think you can do a little more showing of. Okay. Um, and which is good because we kind of need to get rid of some of the text in order to expand some of the other stuff anyway. So like, you know, um, the in uh, and drives by my passions with often overlap with my work, like share a story about that, you know, share the story about, you know, um, oh my God, I'm blanking the rebel brain. Did I uh -huh. say? Yeah. Yeah, that's, you know, Mariah has a group called the Rebel Brain. Is that right? Your, uh, the group is Your Rebel Brain. Yeah. Your Rebel Brain. Your Rebel Brain, which, you know, includes, you know, practices and mindfulness and, you know, how that actually changes your body, which is how you live. So you could come up with some of that. Um, okay. I mean, and I love that we were talking before we went live about the art that's behind you, you know, how you love the um, botanical illustrations. Uh, illustrations. It's like, you know, that reminds me of sort of science and art together. I mean, I see you doing a lot of that. Yeah. So there's an opportunity here to do a little story. <laughs> it shows you celebrating and empowering and, you know. Um, You're so smart. You're so smart. So, so that would, that's really fun. Um, Downtime, fun, and curiosities. Okay. Okay. I love, so I'm always up for a trip to the Botanic Gardens. Awesome. Why is this awesome? Because it's a place. It's a specific place. And people who know it, know it. People who love it, you know, can be like, oh my God, I have a membership. Oh my God. You know, let's have I was also, I had some ulterior motives in that, that phrasing there too of, yeah. um, 
making it easy for them to come up with something to do together. Oh my God, that's so genius. Yeah, exactly. Like this, this like, makes it- Be the hero of my story, here's how. <laughs> oh my gosh, and Bananagrams. Okay, so I'm super psyched you mentioned that. That <laughs> see now that's a hook. That's the Bananagrams is such a, yeah, all of this is great. You're making it easy for the person to win. So everybody write that down <laughs> in your journal, make it easy for the reader to win. I'm going to write that down too. <laughs> yeah. Um, and okay. Yeah. Because that sentence is really fun. And yeah, I love bananagrams, by the way. Bananagram. Oh, it's on next time. They say we're bananagrams. <laughs> it shows exactly who you are. It really <laughs> does. I mean, I really love that game. Okay. Me too. So, the perfect man for me. Love that you are asking a question here. Um, why do I love that? Because in your writing, you are, well, you're, you're a brilliant writer, by the way. And I know for a lot of people, it's hard to write. So, you know, if people are like, oh my God, I don't know how to write, then um, you might want to call me. Because um, <laughs> it is kind of hard to write about yourself. But as you're doing this, you're getting content. Perfect man for me. I just like that you kind of broke the rhythm here with a short question. Um, and this is where you can start using some of the, um, you're the kind of guy who's, you know? Yeah, I like that a lot. Um, I would say, okay, so let's look at these even more specific. He likes to take the lead, is responsible, curious, thinks that this, this life is truly brilliant and probably is looking for someone to be weird and silly around. Okay, I love the probably is looking for someone to be weird and silly around. I love that. Um, uh, he likes to take a lead, th the lead. I think you can do that in a, a more visual. Yeah, I agree. Or the kind of guy who statements, like um, you, you see a, um, let's say, you find out about a new trail and we we go there this weekend something like that like that shows or you know you um so i'm it's hard with pandemic stuff but it's like okay you're inspired um by a an online meditation class and you go ahead and get us tickets or something like that the thing that you have to be kind of careful with with some of these things is that sometimes these things can feel um, sensitive to the reader, like um, take the lead, is responsible. Like I think you, um, okay, here's a trick. Because is responsible, yeah, I mean. But it doesn't really say. You that, yeah. are responsible. So if you it's show like healthy. you were responsible, and that you show your, you know, commitment to your life, and and then you are in, inviting that you're the kind of person in. Then you don't have to really say that because you're demonstrating that. Um, but you can definitely. So in the cases where it, you okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So in some cases, like when we're talking about like finances and, you know, these things that can be perceived as, okay, this is what the man's supposed to do kind of thing. And this is just my take on it. Um, I think it can be helpful to um, paint the picture. You know, we, we create this date to really create a lot more language about co-creating, like most of the people who are in these the community with me are the the people who are um who are looking for that next level relationship that sort of beyond relationship you're not lo just looking for a date you're not looking for you know just a mediocre relationship you're looking for something soulful connected spiritual where you're creating together and growing together and laughing together, that next level thing. So, you know, 
um, some of the things that can be hard to talk about are like money and like, yeah, you want someone who's responsible, but if you demonstrate that in your writing and you kind of lift the person up in when you're sharing who that person is, then likely it um, will be demonstrated. Um, but things like money, let's say, um, if you're wanting to kind of call that out, the sneakiest way I found to do it is, you know, um, you know, like me, like me, you've planned for the future, like me, you've, so include yourself in that, like already show that you, you are set, you're not looking for a sugar daddy, because I don't think people, <laughs> I mean, I'm not making that wrong, but I'm thinking that that's what we're talking to, right? A little bit. Uh oh, did I lose your sound? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Um, oh, yeah, no, I wait, we're not looking for a sugar daddy. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> You can say you get to look for whatever you want, but um, but when you're, quality, thinking, I love that. I love that co-creating uh, language. Yeah. I think that's really, really lovely. Yeah. So, so considering that, and that's kind of if you wanted to do a little mini, you know, a couple sentences on, you know, a super fun weekend for me. You kind of did that when you listed the fun things, um, but that can be something where you show that you're both kind of co-creating, you know, we get up, you know, we, we have a meal together, you know, we look at, um, on a sunny day, we may head out to take the dogs for a walk and, you know, leisurely find a place to hang out, do a meditation, like sharing stuff like that, you know, you just paint the picture, right? Got it. Yeah. I like um, that. And lovely. <laughs> Yeah. And then the last part, which is really great is, you know, you, you kind of want in business, we call it a call to action in a way. And you're kind of doing this when you're saying is probably looking for someone to be weird and silly around. I think I would do one more sentence. Um, so um, speaking of weird and silly, or just like, um, if, if, if this vibes with you or use the language that you would use, you know, if this sounds fun to you. Um, I'd love to get to know you better. I mean, just some kind of closing statement that's really saying, yes, I want to meet people. I if you write and we are a match, I would like to get to know you better kind of thing. So actually saying that out loud. Um, the other thing that I would say that can be really helpful, I mean, I feel like the vibe of your profile is super lovely like oh, things okay. that you haven't done so that i haven't been able to call them out are <laughs> things like you know you're not complaining about things you're not saying you know if you're a cheap skate don't write me you're not like expecting the worst avoid you, i avoided negatives too the things i don't want yeah i think that's actually a really good um way to be because um the thing that happens when you do well i don't want this and i don't want that or if you're this then don't write that kind of thing it's like immediately anyone who likes any of the other things about you is going to feel like there's a good chance they could be shot down yeah like there's okay so what if you don't like the A and the B, are there like E, F, G, H, I underneath all this that you're not saying that I could do wrong and fail? So if there's anything that can leave someone um, thinking that, oh yeah, it's, I mean, and this isn't conscious. These are like, these are subtleties that push people away. So any of the, the negative stuff or you know, and the other thing is, I will also say if if you're getting into a lot of any talk about like um, things that are sexual, like this may be too early. If you are a sensual person and intimacy is really important to you, then I would just, you know, 
touch on like, oh, I'm excited to meet. So that's also another sentence lead that you can use. Like, I'm really excited to meet someone who wants to share their life, you know, that where we have shared, where we can have that shared experience together, you know, walking our dogs or taking trips to different towns in Colorado or whatever you want to say. Um, and, you know, I look forward to someone who I can, so I'm attracted, I, we can cuddle together and adore each other, like light terms like that, not like, you know, uh, sexual reference, yeah. you know, like if yeah. it's overt and you're like, oh, I don't know why you know, I'm getting people who are not reading anything. I mean, if a guy reads something and it gets into that, then they're probably not actually going to focus on anything else. So just be aware of what you're creating when, you, when you're writing. And sometimes, um, you know, there's a lot of things that get to wait for conversations and getting to know each other in the third or fourth date or whatever the <laughs> thing is that, you know, doesn't, necessarily apply here this is really the beginning of painting the picture of this is how i do my life this is how i do me these are the things that really excite me this is you know even really saying i am really excited to have a relationship that's actually a really great thing to say like if you're truly ready for a relationship then say you're really ready for a relationship someone to share your life with and literally say that. Um, so I'm gonna look at some of the questions. Um, in Montana, every guy is wearing a cowboy hat or holding a fish. <laughs> um, There's a lot of fish holders here too. Yeah, there probably are. Um, and, you know, in that too, we have, I want to remind people that it can be easy to get um, feeling like, oh, okay, well, that's all there is here. There are only guys who climb 14ers or only this or only that. So avoid any generalization, avoid any always and nevers when you're actually relating to the experience of online dating, because um, that's not going to help because then it limits all possibility. I mean, there was a time when I was online dating and I really felt like, well, I must be the only woman who's indoorsy. Like, I like sewing. I like painting. I like making soup. Like, okay, so everyone in Colorado is outdoorsy. I would say that. And then when I let all of that go and it was just like, well, this is who I am and this is who I'm looking for. I had a whole bunch of people interested. So um, it's really what we affirm that matters. Um, what if there's a straight up deal breaker you want to head off immediately and everything else stays positive? My profile says, if you're on the Trump train, we're not going to get along. That's a really good point. Um, and you get to do whatever you want to do. I mean, I I would just, you know, that's the kind of thing that um, I don't think it's wrong or bad necessarily. I would just notice um, the tone. I mean, and I it does kind of say, and there may be another way of saying that that, that doesn't come across as, um, sort of like go away. I don't know. I mean, you can just say my my political views are this, you know? You you don't have to make them wrong about it. Um, you know, I don't I don't Trump and I are not whatever. You could you just say just notice the energy. That literal that statement if you're on the Trump train, we're not going to get along. I would say that's kind of a moderate slap in the face but not terrible you could also flip it couldn't you um yes. say something about you know being more liberally minded or yeah. you know, focus on focus on the opposite of trump it's true yeah i think it's pretty obvious when you look at men's or you know other people's profiles uh where they lean 
Exactly. Opinion. And especially on match, which is really helpful because they actually do have that section that, you know, shows your political piece. So, you know, you, you can use that. I agree. I think that's a great suggestion. Um, writing is very personal. You're right. Um, love the sci-fi is my comfort food. <laughs> okay, how many hundreds of uh, profiles are going to say that now? Um, okay. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for the comments, you guys. <laughs> thanks, Lori. Thanks, all of you. Okay. So what what do we want to do now? So um, so yeah, the the oh yeah, there's one more thing that it's sort of like the fairy dust of it all. Um, in a way, I mean, all these things like go together. Um, so looking at the that your profile, I would include um, maybe in the length of prof of of the profile you have right now, I would probably include maybe one or two call outs to him. So what does that mean? That means like, um, well, you kind of did this here. You, when you said bananagrams, if you dare, <laughs> um, that's what I would call a call out. You could make it even more direct to him, um, but that's pretty close. Like that's, that's the kind of thing that is really fun. Um, flirty, fun. Yeah, that's where the flirtiness comes in. Um, so say, okay, so say you you extended your your travel piece a little bit, and we didn't have like travel as one of the top like uh, values. It doesn't matter, but it's kind of goes in probably the curious intellect, which. You know, travel based on like where you go and how you do things. Like, are you at the like everything's included resort in Cancun, or are you on camper van and head out to the uh, room somewhere? Head out somewhere. Yeah, something and then like and then that's a great place. Yeah, just even that. Want you know you in like some kind of question in there? You know, like the more you can you know, blend you sharing you. Oh, these are so good. Him in it, because that's what's really cool. Uh, and what, one of the biggest mistakes I see from women is that there's a lot of proving energy often. It's like, I do this, I do this, I do this, and I'm this. And, and I think it's great, you know, to have that positive um, attitude and confidence in sharing yourself. But if it gets to the point where it creates almost like a vacuum of like, or not a vacuum, it's like a capsule where there's no way he has a way in. Like you you make enough money, you are totally satisfied, you love your house, you, you know, spend all your weekends with your friends. And if there's a sense of like, where do I fit in? You want to be aware of that. So you know, you inviting him to play bananagrams in this writing, you inviting him to say, okay, can we go camping together? That kind of thing is, is really fun. Um, so that's, that's kind of the final thing. So I'm just going to summarize. So one, we want to know our values. We want to speak to our values in specifics. And we want in specific sharing stories. We want to uh, on the side, do a little quality check for ourselves. Am I living my values? Um, and then, you know, noticing, including your values and in, in what you've written, which you've done perfectly, including um, adding ways for him to be him or her to be successful, right? Like when you're writing about um, who that person is, and you know, I love you. You gave me a new thing with this, like when you share those specific things that you're always up for, then hello, easy dates right there. No brainer. Um, and then, you know, a call to action and those flirty like invitations with him. So, so that's really the gist of it. And certainly, you know, when you're doing all this writing, 
typically what I find is, I know in a lot of these profiles, let's look at the top. Well, sometimes there's a header. I don't know where the header falls in this. I know there's one somewhere where it's sort of like a header for your whole profile. Oh, yeah. Um, usually there's something um, that you've already written that makes an awesome tagline or something, right? Like, I'm just looking at this first line, succulent, magical, and a little nerdy. How about you? <laughs> like something like that. <laughs> you got it. It's like, there's probably a couple things in there you could do. So, um, so let's just look at a, a couple of your pictures and then I think, you know, we can wrap up except for, I'm not sure I know how to do that. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, I know they're down here somewhere. Maybe no. Um, uh, there, if you click right on the uh, photo itself, maybe they pop up. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, are you seeing this? Yeah. Okay, so we love this picture. I love that picture. <laughs> Those shoes. You know what? I almost want that one as your main one, but let's look. Okay, that's awesome. So this is great because it's showing, oh, it's showing you traveling. Look at you. Um, it's showing your body. It's a full body picture. It's very friendly. Um, and I mean, it's sexy too. Like it's sexy without it being like kind of slutty. Um, <laughs> that's, you know, you just look so happy and sparkly. Ooh, that's fun. Love that. Okay. That's also amazing. Okay. Fun. So this is great. Cause this is showing you out in the world. So You've covered all the bases already. I think it's good to have some headshots and at least one full body and one where you're doing something fun. Yeah, another fun thing, showing your dog. So that gives, there's, you know, pictures speak a thousand words. So they're like, oh, well, is that your dog? What kind of dog is it? Like, Yeah, that's the only reason I put that in there because usually um, I am, take the sunglasses off show your face, show your smile, like, don't yeah. hide, don't hide. Um, yes. But that one I thought told more, told enough of the story that it kind of was okay. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I think it's okay to have a couple like not so professional necessarily yeah. ones, like real life ones, I would say. Oh, um, definitely life ones, but sunglasses, yeah. they're, you're hiding. Yeah, you're right. I mean, typically, yeah. but you have plenty without them. So it's yeah. not the question. So the things that, you know, I say to people are, you know, try not to include other people in your pictures. I mean, sometimes that can feel like, well, what if they think I don't have any friends or whatever? Well, you do, so you don't need to prove that. Um, but like, you know, really having pictures that have, you know, that energy, I guess. I mean, and when you're taking the pictures, I don't know if you do this with your clients, I think it's helpful to look at the camera and see your future partner and know that that's part of the consciousness of it that's included in the picture. Yeah, definitely. It's so intention, intention comes through in your expression and, yeah. you know, being able to show, you know, show your, show your spirit, show your essence in your photos and let, let yourself shine through. And like, think of, think of, I like to think of it too, is, what picture do I want him to have on his desk of him saying, this is the first one I saw of her. This is the photo that drew me in. Yeah, which this is such a stunning photo. The only thing that I wonder about, and you just play with too, it, yeah. right or wrong. Like, I do want to look into your eyes. Yeah, I agree um, with you. I, I, I like, I'll put this one up instead. Super cute. <laughs> well, maybe you can get one that, you know. These are kind of old too. I've had this, I've had this profile. Um, hidden for a while <laughs> yeah so it, it does the photos need to be updated i'll fully admit that um yeah i agree like show but your you do look I, like that. Yeah. i mean i've seen you so i mean thankfully you look like that i would say for a lot of people though if you are using an old profile old pictures then just for especially if you're going to use the tips that i am sharing with you tonight and you're rewriting like 
redo these things, like bring to it this new awareness. And, and, you know, if you, phones are amazing right now. I mean, one, you can call Mariah if you're in the Denver area or <laughs> you can have her do your pictures. I mean, that's a no brainer, but um, two, like if you're somewhere and you don't need, you don't have someone to do it, you can use, I was going to get okay. my phone. It's I mean, separated. <laughs> You can, you can actually, um, oh, cool. <laughs> you can actually, you know, do the self timer and do some fun things. Just, you know, be aware of the lighting. You know, I feel like if you don't typically wear makeup, sometimes it's helpful to wear a little so that you don't look totally washed out. Yeah, cameras take away 30% of the color in your face. That's why it's good to wear a little bit of makeup, at least a little bit of lip color. And if you don't like lip color, at least a little bit of gloss so it looks alive. You don't have okay, to like go awesome. full face. Yeah. Yes, cool. Okay, any other tips on that? Um, on makeup, uh, just in general for photos. oh yeah, take the sunglasses off, show your eyes, show your smile, show your smile, and show your smile. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and there are, I know there's um, there's photographers all across the country who I like to go to. The person I go to is um, she's out in Connecticut, and I make sure that I find somebody like personal branding really works well because they. Like it's the same thing with business is right. it's all about intention and showing your authentic self and showing up. And it's, it's scary, but it's also, you know, part of the reason it's scary is because you're doing something that's a little out of your comfort zone. And you're having to show up and showing up is that's, we have to show up. If we want to be seen. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, on that note, really, you know, as we wrap this up, what I want to say is if you do struggle with this and you are aware that there are fears or insecurities that hold you back, like keep you from feeling confident in sharing yourself, that is a clue that it's time to do something <laughs> different because um, when you put yourself online and you haven't really addressed those things, then it's going to be addressed in a, in a way that's probably not that fun. You're going to continue to meet the people that aren't, you know, working for you until you get to the bottom of those issues. So please, you know, if you're someone who's really wanting to have that love relationship in the next six to 12 months, I am opening my super love coaching program for applications now, kind of, I'm just starting to announce it, um, but it'll be for, you know, an August start um, or September 1st start. And that means that you can go through the I am super love system. And in that, you know, we are focusing on getting rid of the things that keep you attracting the wrong person or hold you back or, leave you feeling insecure in yourself. So when you can do that, then the online dating part also feels a lot different. When you can do that, then you you have the confidence and security within you to be able to navigate the space because that's when you're going to want to be able to share yourself and be confident in who you are and not feel like, oh my God, are they going to pick me? Or am I going to say the wrong thing? Or all of that kind of stuff really doesn't equate to that beyond relationship, that super loved relationship. And then, you know, part of the program includes, okay, I met this great person. Like, how do we keep ourselves from the sabotage, the habits that sabotage? So, you know, it becomes a whole experiential thing. And any of these things that are happening here in the relationship space are likely happening in other areas. And I don't mean to sound like a downer, but you know, that is huge. Like when you can be, get beyond that, you are living an extraordinary life. And, um, and I also believe that, you know, your relationships, the quality of your relationships is the source of amazing success. So um, I'm really grateful that we could do this together. I really had no idea what this would be like. And I'm so happy that you did this. 
I am so excited for what you can create from this too. Oh my gosh, Macy, I'm so happy I was able to do this. Thank you. I have all these notes now and I'm, I'm, so I'm excited to go like revamp my, and get new photos. <laughs> well, yeah, and it's a new moon. So there's like this kind of cool yeah, like, this rebirth energy. Well, I think it was yesterday, but it was somewhere in between yesterday and today. <laughs> that it is like really cool timing for that. So, and it seems like everybody, a lot of people shared that this was helpful. So Good. awesome. So reach out to me, anyone out there, message me if you want to apply for um, the Super Love program, or if you have any questions at all, there's a lot of different ways we can, um, you can be supported. And um, I think we're good. So you stick around, Mariah. I'm going to end the broadcast. We'll say goodbye to everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. Share with us a takeaway in the comments, people. What was your greatest takeaway? I'm really curious to know what that moment was that was like, oh, I didn't think of that. I want to know because that'll help me too. So I'll put mine in there too. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. You stay there. Bye, everyone.